I am Paul Foster. I am the Executive Director of International Studies and Outreach at Montana State University Billings. I am a Billings native. I graduated from high school, Billings Senior High School, in 1982. And after that, I left to seek my fortune in the wide world. I returned in 2012, just a couple of years ago, and began work at MSUB in 2013. I'm a specialist in medieval Slavic cultures, principally East Slavic, meaning Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, and South Slavic, Serbian, Croatian, Bulgarian, and Macedonia. I spent the past 15 years of my career in Macedonia working at several universities in the town of Skopje, Macedonia, as well as Tetovo, Macedonia. And I'm very pleased to be back here and very honored to begin this semester with a second wave of lectures on World War I. It is brought to us with the generous support of the university, but also members of the community. Brent Roberts, our librarian, has organized such events in the past. This year is going to mark or commemorate the 100th anniversary of the beginning of World War I. The lectures began last semester and continue this semester beginning on February 10th with my lecture on America, or Montanans return to World War I where I will focus on Montanans in the region mostly of Red Lodge, Carbon County, Bear Creek who originally emigrated to Montana in the latter part of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century to work in the coal mines of Carbon County. They came from Austria, but ethnically, they were members of minorities within the Austro-Hungarian Empire, principally Slovaks, Czechs, Bohemians, Moravians, Poles, Serbs, Croatians, Montenegrins, Macedonians, Slovenes. There's quite a few of nationalities represented in Montana at that time. But what's remarkable is these, in, these individuals returned to Europe to fight against the German and the Austro-Hungarian Empire, really in service of the United States, but also to free their homelands from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a fascinating story. I think uh, the documents that we've been able to access and unearth tell a different side of World War I than we traditionally have, have been exposed to here in the university. The series continues after that with a look at the American Indian involvement in World War I, presented by Reno Charette and Professor Jeff Sanders, who will be speaking on the 17th. We also have several other departments and academic disciplines represented here. Um, Tom Lewis will be talking about World War I and chemical weapons following that on the 24th of February. And then on the March 10th, we will have two his, uh, professor of histor history Emily Arendt and also Sam Birnbaum, who is a professor in the communications talking about the democracy and women and the Great War. And finally, probably uh, going to be a wonderful lecture, our poet laureate for the state of Montana, Tammy Holland, who is also a professor of English uh, in the English department here, will be presenting a wonderful lecture on the poetry of World War I. That is certainly going to be the highlight probably the, of the entire year. She's a very good poet, well known in the community, and we look forward to that. So Montana State University Billings' mission is really to serve our students, but also the Billings community. As Director of International Studies here, I've really worked hard to create opportunities for the wider Billings community to return to campus or come to campus and enjoy some of our lectures or readings or opportunities to be re-involved in the academic disciplines of the university. We've had several lectures over the past couple of years and more planned, but I think uh, the turnouts for these World War I lectures have been tremendous, averaging close to 250 people on uh, each event. So the, the lectures are in room 148, in the library. It's one of our newest lecture halls. It's wonderful, it's very comfortable, and we're looking forward to welcoming many folks from Billings and the community back to Montana State University Billings.